All right, we're on. This is our first swarm of small cell bees. We're gonna huge ass swarm of small cell bees. Attempt to move them. First, Jennifer's spraying them with sugar water. Because who doesn't like being hot and sticky? Because everybody so likes that? a little bit of sugar water. It calms the bees and makes them start cleaning each other off, which keeps them busy so they're not thinking about what you're doing. With the oh. bottom, too. And they like cleaning each other, it makes them feel happy. Let's spread the pheromones around. Yeah, there's definitely some hollow space in here, see how it... All right, yeah, they're compressing a little bit with the spray. Really not a lot of motion on it, though. All right, that should be good. And now, now the clipping happens. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna so hold gonna it. Hold actually, sides. get this side first. Yep, that way, it, there's gonna be wait, wait. I'm just gonna get a little bit out just to get. To All right, go ahead. Good thing I didn't sharpen these ahead of time. All it's right. Silly. Now so they're easy. actually on. A little bit on this lower branch here too, so clip it off right here if you can. Actually, clip it off right, right there. Yep. All right. Oh, they're shaking a little bit. Wait, wait, wait. 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 All right. Can you get that little bit off there? Okay. Good. Now uh, you're gonna have to grab that top branch because I don't think I can hold this whole ball of bees here when you clip that because I'm holding its bottom piece on, see what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, I think you can get that. Nope. Good. All right, well, I'll try. Okay. All right, okay, hold, grab it now. Twist very gently so that they don't go falling. All right. Okay. Alright, they're loose. Now we're gonna have to somehow figure out how to get the camera. Let me see if I can hold this by myself. Let, let gently go. If you hurry and move that camera, I can hold it. I'll just aim it right down into the new box. Expert Filmmaking 101. Maybe YouTube hits in no time at all. Inside this box, we've got. Okay. Looking good. Looking really good. Alright. So, shake. Now we don't know where the queen is, so we're going to try to make sure as many of these are in there as possible. I think this is going to be a pretty deep, deep home for these guys. All right, we're going to put the branches down in front so that they have somewhere to go. And they'll hopefully come right up into it. Now we'll add these other... Well, it's holy, got to get the sugar water, I got to squirt. Sugar water, okay. Go on, Miss B. An awful lot of bees in there. Spraying, Jennifer is spraying the, the, what do they call these, deep, these are, these these are deep, small cell, fully, um, deep fully frames, cells. they're fully drawn out already fully so the out. bees yeah. don't have to worry about drawing them out right away, trying to squish as few bees as possible, because you just 
never know where the queen is. These are super excited about this stuff already. It's got bee smell on it because these have been previously used by the bees or reputable dealers were hoping that it has no disease on it. But he's not scared as long yet. Mr. Otis George is the one that we're dealing with. Second one? He's the small cell bee expert in these parts near Atlanta. In Atlanta, I guess. Lots of bees flying around, but not a lot of bees have much to say yet. So far, we haven't been stung. I haven't been stung, at least. No, no, you'd have heard about it if I had been stung. Now we're just going to load this up with uh, with other empty frames because we've heard uh, from Steve Page that the bees actually will fill up any space that you don't fill up with foundation. They will fill it in inappropriately with the wrong style of honeycomb. Uh, so far so good. It's very strange when I, I can drop it down, you can see it sort of slowly moving down on its own while the bees sort of get out of the way of it. Quite interesting actually. I'll try to slowly move these over without squishing too many bees. Looks like they're getting squished the a little bit. Sure I like that newspaper. I look at the bottom, it's kind of covering the front a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, we may have to pull it out of there. Yep. Maybe it's just like enough time to drop the trees or like... It's cool on the I can just pull this forward and I'll just pull it forward, yeah, and that seems to be doing it. Whoops, no, uh, there's more in there. Yeah, there's two layers of paper. Should probably maybe put one more in there. Look out, bees. Now give me some room here. Keep throwing up your legs, check it out. It's so interesting that. They slowly move down on their own as the bees get out of the way. Alright, so that's about as good as we can get, right? Well, let's see. I'm going to still double check on the stick to make sure that we don't have anybody. You can look for the queen on the stick, but I would just leave the stick there so that they can go on their own into the hive. I'm just trying to make sure that's super good. Well, they've got space. They can get in and out of here now, so they'll have that tape. I think they'll have that paper pretty well gone. Pretty quickly. There we go. That That's helps. The That's the ticket right there. Now we've got our Boardman feeder. We're going to need to put on. Bees love their Boardman feeders. Just sort of shove them, shove them in there. It's only about 95 degrees outside with a heat index of 105, so we're plenty warm in our, Is that in enough? our bee suits here. Here, that's better. There we go, now it's in. You're gonna squish a few bees along the way. You try not to, but... You feel really bad every time you kill one of your little girls. Anyways, you can't avoid it. Now we'll put the top board on. 